recording right now? Yeah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> liar, liar. Victoria's Secret and Fire. Watch Gizzy and Frenemies every Monday from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. on social media shows. Welcome to the second segment of Fab Live. And please introduce the gentleman that's in the middle. <laughs> this is Gigi's assistant, Pierce. Hello. Gigi's how assistant. Doing today? Yeah. Welcome to Fab Live. Thank you. <laughs> so, how do you like Fab Live? I know it was cold outside a while ago. It's like it's when I opened the door, like it's freezing. It's like <laughs> come on in. <laughs> I don't mind your turtleneck. So. It's definitely warm. I know, here. like I'm I'm a tropical boy, so I have to wear this. Yeah, you look really It's hot and down. humid where I come from. Did the you make Philippines. that? Oh no, no, I just saw it and it and it spoke to me. <laughs> Do you design winter wear too or no? That's my forte actually, and really? that's why I'm you know moved to the U.S. You know, because there is no fall winter in the Philippines. It's basically summer. And I'm just fascinated with uh, fall winter wear, most especially my favorite French designer back in the 80s Who is was that? Thierry Mugler. Oh, Thierry Mugler? Oh. Yeah, yeah. He amazing. created a lot. Um, he, he was inspired a lot by gods and goddesses and by science fiction and about horror and all these fantastical creatures and he was able to trans his his shows were theatrical i mean it 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 was beyond anything back in the day you know and uh, what i loved about him because i wasn't you know back in the um early 80s they still had those 70s out with you know floral and ruffles and <laughs> For I some reason, I was a tiny I, kid. You, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm just explaining. <laughs> so it was very, you know, floral, and I wasn't really into that. And then when I saw the designs of him and, and Yves Saint Laurent back in the day, and Yves Saint Laurent, you know, designed this like black leather, like fierce, no fuss, no ruffles. It was just like Hell's Angel, like on. On the on a Vogue ad. Oh no, it wasn't Vogue. Correction, it was Harper's Bazaar. Harper's Bazaar. I still remember September issue, and the cover was Elizabeth Taylor. Wow. Yeah. Mm hmm. Really, really beautiful. I opened up the page, and I said to myself, "Yes, I want to be a fashion designer." Because <laughs> before that, I didn't have any interest. In fashion, I mean, you know, in in the Philippines, there are like dressmakers here, dressmakers everywhere. But it's I didn't. Just so manufactured it, stuff. Yeah. It wasn't couture and. Well, some of them like was you know special. I mean, if you go to the Philippines, Filipinos love to design evening gowns. <laughs> but it, it didn't speak to me when I opened that magazine. I found out later on that a designer could have an entire empire. Like it's an entire, and that's what Yves Saint Laurent and Mugler had back in the day. It wasn't only about clothes, they had sunglasses there. It's the, you know, it is like it's the accessories, especially in winter. It's the accessories, I yeah. Love, that's why with winter, like yeah. with your life, you have scarves yes. and you have gloves yes. and you have hats, and there's yes. so much more than just yes. a formal gown or a, or a spring wear dress. Yes. I mean, so, there's a lot of stuff. To and to me, on. it was all that put together. And the big picture, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that fashion could have so much drama. And that's what, what really drew me into it. Do you have samples of your clothing? Um, I, I have a few samples of, of my clothing. Um, I, I made a movie uh, many years ago, which was called uh, Fallen Star. And I uh, created, oh, thank you. Um, I wrote the script, I assisted in the directing, and I created the, the costumes as well. Mm. And I played the bad guy. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yes. The culprit. Huh? And so, yeah. Culprit? He could be a culprit. I, he could be the culprit. Okay, we'll make another movie. <laughs> <laughs> I 
a villain. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so now, but like guy. enough about me. Like this interview is all about you. So how can my audience, you know, contact you if they want to have something made for their beautiful? They can know? call me mm -hmm. at seven zero two. Three three four two zero eight three. Okay. Or if they wanted to go directly to my seamstress um, for sizing and picking out their own fabric and choosing one of the designs from Gigi Sheep, they can also go directly to her. Oh, okay. Yes. So basically, right now, um, your business is more like uh, like a home based uh, in house. Well, business. it's it's custom. Yeah. Because you can't custom. just like, for instance. Gigi's yeah. 15 pounds, mm -hmm. but she has long legs. Yes. And then my little guy is 5 pounds, and he has short okay. legs. And so you can't classify that they're sh small, medium, or large sizes. They have to be individually customized. Yes. They yes. have to, because otherwise Absolutely. they'll be running around with something that's baggy or too tight. Too and, tight, yeah. And it doesn't That'll look, it cut doesn't off look. their circulation. Exactly. And it yeah. does not look good. If it's baggy yeah. and like, you know, my little peanut. She's little, but then yeah. she has little short legs, and so everything I make comes off of her. So I have to retailer it. Oh, okay. So it's all it's all custom. Now tell me, Pierce, how do you assist her in in the business side of things? Um, well, I help respond to her emails and manage uh -huh. public relations with some of her clients, potential buyers, do some of the marketing strategies, and then we'll do the advertising. You have a very intelligent assistant. Mm -hmm, he's excellent. Yeah, she's. Did you see the the Devil Wears Prada? I love that movie. Yes. She she's your Emily. <laughs> she's <laughs> the new Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know that you are not an Emily, but <laughs> you never know. You never know. You never know. <laughs> never know. <laughs> I just love that movie, The Devil Wears Prada. Like I've seen it like a multiple times and most especially uh Meryl Streep during the interview with um, Andrea in the beginning there and before this interview you've never heard about me and you have no sense of style no no that wasn't a question <laughs> that was funny I love the hat when she was yeah, walking the, with the, the knee-high boots and that hat and the hat yeah. and my mother's boyfriend had a hat just like that I'm like can I have your hat? <laughs> yeah. I got it. I had to have that. Yeah. There's so many scenes in that movie that, that I, I, I really, really love. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and the fashion, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the fashion and that uh, iconic scene where in, uh, oh, that lumpy blue sweater that you're wearing isn't only blue, it's not lapis, it's cerulean. <laughs> and she was like, which you no doubt fished it out from some tragic casual corner. I mean, she... <laughs> and they looked her up, they sized yeah, she her looked, down, yeah, and they yeah, said, yeah, oh, what, like, are you a size 8 or yeah, a size yeah, yeah. 10? <laughs> <laughs> so then, where are you going to place your clothing at? Me? Yes, where's it going? Oh, it's going everywhere. Um, yeah, um, I'd just like to promote myself first here in the social media shows. And because... This company is growing at an exponential rate. And once, once we, we get there, you know, then that's the time that I'll promote myself when I'm like a character and personality right. out there. And, and then I can launch. Open up some boutiques. I can not open up some boutiques first. Um, I'll probably hook up with celebrities okay. and like, you know, uh, dress that's them when, up. That's what I do for the celebrities. Kids. Yes, yes. I did some beach wear. I did yes. some formal wear. They just send me the sizes. It's more. Yes. Makes more sense when you work really hard for your designs and your, and your fabric is really a quality. So, speaking about the uh, celebrities that you've, you know, created outfits mm -hmm. for their little doggies, who are the celebrities? I really that... can't say because I don't want to name drop, but I did a lot for the, um, for the gifting suites for the Oscars. Oh. Yes. I really shouldn't but say they're, But they're, if you look on the internet, you'll see. If you see the kids... But they're, they're big stars who, yes. who sashay on the red carpet yes, at course. the Oscar. Yes. You know, I, I'd like to say the red carpet in Spanish too because it sounds... The, red, the word the red carpet sounds magic, magical in Spanish. Alfombra roja. <laughs> sounds yeah. really sexy. <laughs> Alfombra, say it with me. Alfombra, Alfombra roja. roja. 
<laughs> That's the red carpet. <laughs> it's, I love it. I know. I'm so theatrical. <laughs> That's okay. You're supposed to be. She's theatrical, right? Yeah, she's theatrical too. She's not in the mood to sit with mother. <laughs> no, nope, she's dead. She's like, Mama, I'm done. Oh so my now? gosh. So, so Pierce, pretty. are you in, enjoying this? Yeah. Yes, it's a beautiful little exhibit of the film industry and TV shows and how they work. It's interesting to see how they own show. Nice, nice. And about, you know, working with her, are you enjoying it? Of course. Yeah. Her and I are Bonnie and Clyde together. Party oh, and I love that. She's <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde and I'm the great Gatsby. <laughs> the Baz Luhrmann version. <laughs> That's awesome. And and have you met the celebrities? The... Uh, I met about two or three. Oh, okay. Well, then, it's okay. It's okay. it's okay. You don't need to mention any any names. Yes. Yeah. And I un understand the whole uh, confidentiality thing. I understand. So, that. which celebrity would you want to? <laughs> oh my gosh, for? there Here's... are so many of them. But I would love to see Kendall Jenner. On my catwalk. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Yeah, because now my favorite designer in in Paris is Olivier Roasting, and he designs for Balmain, and all his designs is a tribute to the eighties and nineties. Oh, for the Balmain. Yeah, for the Bal Balmain. Yeah, and it's like huge razor sharp shoulder pads and the small waistline and and the tight uh, pencil skirts and like. So your designs are built are made for. Taller people, really. Um, yes, like for for the catwalk, I love doing that. But like, in my my years of experience in this industry, you really have to adjust yourself. So, if you want to make it work and if you want to have a career, yes, that's true. Though. So I design for everyone. Beautiful. I design for everyone for as long as that woman is is ready to. Um, immerse in my vision you know the and I have to say this I don't like it when they come to me and they and they saw a dress in Macy's and and they want me to copy it yeah no. they just go buy the dress in yes, Macy's exactly so yeah, you're gonna but, do only couture you're also gonna do ready to wear um I wouldn't I really wouldn't say couture at the moment I would say high fashion and the reason why I'm not loosely using that word because I want to be taken seriously by the French syndicate. I mean, if that day comes and then they'll invite me to be part of their club, you know, the, That's... yeah, yeah, the, uh, la, la, la chambre de la haute couture, you know, syndical mm -hmm. parisienne, you know. Or it's Paris, on... Paris Fashion Week. Yeah, uh, Paris haute couture fashion week, because there's, Haute Couture Fashion Week, and then there's Prêt à Porter, which is ready to ready wear. Ready to wear, exactly. Yeah, yes. yeah. My yeah right there now. you go. Oh <laughs> my gosh, we ladies are speaking the same language. I love it. Yes, I'm wearing. Ugh. I love, I love the boots. They're Gucci, but they're like. I love it. Three years ago. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> you wear it beautifully. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, but they're three years old. Some of That's them. all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> what are you wearing? I'm just wearing my own clothes. Well, not my own clothes. Um, some express, and um, I'm wearing energy, and it was a line that was discontinued here in uh, Vegas. They had a boutique. I I guess it was too avant garde for avant -garde? the time. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is so, Vegas, so you yeah. So, <laughs> but I love that store. I I really and I'm very fortunate to have a few pieces from that store mm -hmm. and kept it. You know, and whenever I, I wear clothes from, you know, energy, I always get complimented. That's cute. You know. Okay, ladies and okay. gentlemen. So we are done with the uh, second segment of the show and we will be back for a third. So don't go away.